so important that, first of all, if you don't inject humor, if you don't learn to laugh, this will break you. This will break you. There have been days where I've seen this professional hater who has not just mocked Muslims, but mocked the disabled and mocked women winning. And if I couldn't laugh at that, I think I would get physically ill. So I think that part of it is that laughter is healing, laughter is survival. But more importantly, if the person across from you is laughing, you can make them laugh, you're relating to them. And people rarely think that they can relate to someone they hate. But when I'm on stage, and it's the first time anyone's seen a Muslim girl on stage, and they've been taught to hate me, and taught to fear me, and they're listening to their, my jokes, and as Obi said, they're thinking of their daughter, their ex-girlfriend, or someone like that. It humanizes me in a way that we could never do by simply demanding um, that people treat us as equals. But the one thing I refuse to do is something I see a lot of my fellow Muslim counterparts do, which is apologize. I will not apologize for thugs and terrorists who are using my religion <laughs> to, to promote violence. I will not apologize, and it's not my job. So when people say, we don't hear enough condemnations, we have condemned it. And I, can, I can't judge I can't say you're not Muslim. If you say you're Muslim, I can't say you're not Muslim. If you say you're Christian, I can't say, no, Obama's Muslim. If you say you're Christian, you are. If you say you're Muslim, you are. But if every single action you take goes against every single word that religion stands for, why is it that they get to be the face of Islam instead of me, who truly lives it? <laughs>